relationship between the amount of light that you intercept in an orchard and the yield. If you want to increase yields, you have to increase your light intercept. So if, for instance, if you want to have 4,000 pound yields, you have to be intercepting about 80% of your light. Okay, that doesn't mean that you are intercepting 80% of the light, you will get 4,000 pounds, but what it means is if you're not intercepting 80%, you know, you won't get it, you won't get 4,000 pounds. It turns out, as you increase light perception by, by each 1%, you increase your yield potential by about 50 pounds to the acre. The bottom line here is, though, uh, the closer the trees are planted together, the smaller they are. The smaller they start, and the smaller they stay. And we have two different rootstocks in this trial. We have Hanton and we have Nemagard. And the bottom line is, as we go from 10 to 14 to 18 to 22 feet apart, the trees get bigger. This is trunk circumference. And uh, it's, it's the same whether it's on Hanton or whether it's on Nonpareil. And uh, on the other end, at the 10 feet, the Hanson and Nonpareil are almost the same size because putting those trees closer together actually you know, constrains those trees. Okay, so that was trunk circumference. What about tree height? And this is what I've always you know, been told. You can't plant trees close together because they'll just shoot for the sun and they'll grow very tall. And that turns out not to be true. Trees that are planted close together actually are slightly shorter. Not very much shorter, but at eight leaf, you can see the difference. You know, there's about a foot difference. Uh, you know, the, the, the more closely planted trees are a little bit shorter. And by the 12th leaf, you know, they're about, what, three feet short. Not a big difference, but, but they're not taller. Okay, so what about cumulative yield? So we are now with a 14th leaf in 2013. So we have yields through 2012. So this is through the 13th leaf. Um, and basically what it's showing, there's been almost no yield difference throughout the whole life of this orchard, well, through the 13th leaf anyway, whether the trees are planted close together or they're planted far apart. There's no, there was, so if, if you have vigorous trees, it doesn't matter, you know, really how close you plant your trees. You're not going to, if 